this tutorial I want to show you how you can stream the tracking data via the network or you can also export it to a phase shift uh, file with a specific format which we have um, described in our documentation and we also provide uh, code, C++ code, to actually read these files and also reading the network stream. So already to export it into uh, in our open format we have this export fs which is a phase shift file file and it can be either binary or ASCII. So if we go on this, let's just take, uh, we export it to binary, then we can say again test, and then these files will include again markers, so they can include the markers, but they will also include all the blend shapes. And there we don't have to do, for example, resampling. Otherwise it's the same as for the marker export. Okay. And the other option is to stream it over the network. So you need to use this, for example, in combination with Maya, but you can also stream it to any other application. So by switching here, it's network streaming on, you will stream via the uh, either TCP or UDP on a certain port. And these settings are actually set up in Studio Preferences in the Streaming tab. And there you can set the protocol to either TCP or UDP and on what port you will be listening. And then you can also have some definitions on how you stream the data. So either, again, whether you stream the data in absolute coordinates, the head pose, or relative to the neutral pose. Whether you want to have smoothing, like animation smoothing in display, you can smooth the streaming data. And you can define what kind of markers you are streaming over the network. All right. So. Again, the network streaming is mostly used with Maya or with a Motion Builder plugin, but you can also put your own uh, application behind that and reading the network stream and use this data to do whatever you want to.